battle of the premium lightweight strollers, which one will win? In this video, I'm going to be comparing the Bugaboo Butterfly and the Baby Zen Yo-Yo 2 to premium lightweight strollers that you may be considering for your family. These are great strollers to take on a trip. They both fit in the overhead compartment of an airplane. They will fit in your trunk and they both have the ability with car seat adapters and other mechanisms to be work for newborn, but they are just going to be a really great kind of accessory stroller and I'm going to be comparing them side by side. Okay, so here is the butterfly. Here is the yo-yo. Yo-yo has been around for many years. It is a French company, really high quality, super, super popular. And it is these, both these strollers have a very premium refined feel to them. Just so you know, the uh, Bugaboo did a great job at the price point. So it's a little bit less expensive than the Yo-Yo. So that is, you're getting a lot of engineering and quality um, styling for a little bit of less of a, of a strong price point. So that's a cool thing. Um, there is an extendable canopy on the um, on the butterfly, there's a zipper here on the side, so you can see, um, nice sun protection, and there is a big air mesh peekaboo window on the top. Oh, you should know, I do a full review of the Bugaboo Butterfly on the channel. I will put a link above and below, so you should check that out after this video. Um, there is a little peekaboo window on the top, but there is no extendable canopy. There is a bit of like a sun visor, I call them, but there's no like zipper that extends the canopy. You can see by side by side that the yo-yo is a little bit higher, just about an inch or half an inch higher than the butterfly, um, but neither of them have extendable handlebars. Both have leatherette handlebars, so they're very comfortable. Um, in terms of footrests, you can buy, I have the footrest of the yo-yo um, attached right now, but it's an accessory. You buy that an accessory, but the butterfly has a um, integrated footrest just that comes included, which is a nice add-on feature. The rear wheels on the Yo-Yo are five-ish inches, and they are like five-ish, five-ish inches on the back. So they're about the same rear wheel, but the front wheel, so it is the same diameter on the front and the back of the, um, of the, of the yo-yo. It's like like five and a half inches diameter on the back. And this is that this looks so it's under so they like around four and a half inches on the front of the butterfly. So larger front wheels on the on the sorry sorry all sorry for all of that. Uh, larger front wheels in the yo-yo, smaller front wheels on the back. Let's see how these things fold down. Okay, so to fold down the yo-yo, what you do is you put down the handlebar like that, and then you reach underneath and there's a button and a pull, button pull, and then this folds right down and there's a little carry strap, put it over your shoulder again, pop in the overhead compartment of an airplane if you're traveling with it. Um, it has an upper weight limit of 50 pounds uh, for a 50 pound child, and uh, but it only weighs 13.6 pounds, so it's pretty light. You always want a, you know, around, you know, 16 down to around 10, like that's the weight, weight range you want for like a lightweight stroller. If you're around the 20s, that's, in my, opinion, not really a lightweight stroll anymore. Okay, to fold down the butterfly, um, you just, there are two buttons on the handlebar, you squeeze down and it folds right down. Um, you can push down that footrest so that can get that out of the way, but you can, it really folds down very nicely and you could even snap this to the back here so it's super, super small. And this fits right in, this is certified to go in the overhead compartment of an airplane as well. It is 16.1 pounds. It's also very light. It is also very light. And it also has a carry strap. Where is it? It also has a carry strap right there. So you just put it over your shoulder again. Uh, you know, I, like I said, I, I say there's a three pound difference between the two, but you'll kind of have to take my word for it. They feel essentially the same. They really feel essentially the same. I don't, I don't know if it has to do with the way they're sort of proportioned or the engineering or whatever, but they are about the same. Let's look at the way they are folded down side by side in terms of the smallness. They really are about exactly the same. So this is all right, 18 inches wide, about 18 inches wide, about 22 inches long, about 21 inches long. So this, the, so the, 
Butterflies actually a smidge smaller. Uh, they really are about the same size, which is different because if you compare this to some of the other strollers in its class, like the um, Up a Baby Menu or the New to Travel, those are just slightly bigger than these, but these are both like very, very small. Uh, just so you know, I'm going to be doing the best travel strollers of 2022 um, very, very soon. So definitely subscribe to the channel today. Wait, I'm not done. Wait to subscribe to the channel today um, so that you will be alerted when that video is coming out. And if you've watched, if you're watching this in the future, that video may have come out already. Check our playlists after the video. Let me open these up for you. To open up the yo-yo, all you do is, oops, you kind of just like flick it open and it opens like, just like that with the, like a yo-yo. And then with the, with the butterfly, you just squeeze the handlebar again. Again, it opens. Oh, I do a full review of the butterfly and the yo-yo on the channel. I'll put the links in the description below, but definitely check out our stroller playlist because we update that all the time with the latest in strollers and car seats and baby gear and toys. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you at the next video.